Alrighty class, so what we're going to do is we are going to create a Venn diagram utilizing the organelles that are on the top here in your cellular biology packets. And so here we go. So on the left hand side we are going to place those items that are exclusive only to plants. And on the right here we are going to place things that are only exclusive to animals. So plants, animals, and in the middle, we're going to place anything that applies to both. Okay, there's going to be a lot of stuff that fits here in the center, so here we go. So I'm just going to go across the top, and I'm going to go left to right. So DNA, well, that applies to both. A nucleus applies to both plants and animals. They're both eukaryotes, meaning they contain a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles. Cellular membrane, okay? So cellular membranes actually belong to both cell membrane. Now later on, we're gonna add on to that with plant cells, because they have something in addition to their cell membrane to assist them. They both have mitochondria. Mitochondria. They both have cytoskeleton. So far, everything has been in common between plants and animal cells, and they both also have a nucleolus. So the nucleolus also belongs there. As far as ERs go, both rough and smooth are in both cells, rough and smooth. So, so far, every single thing on here has belonged to both. They both indeed also have cytoplasm. So a lot of things in common so far. They both have ribosomes. So they both have ribosomes. And they both have Golgi apparatus, or Golgi bodies, or Golgi complex, whichever term you want to use. Which brings us to cilia. Well, cilia are usually associated with motility of animal cells. So there's our first one that I would associate more with animal cells. Uh, let's see, we are in now the third row. Lysosomes, definitely exclusive to animal cells. So lysosomes, as are centrioles. So centrioles present in animal cells, assisting with division. Again, for motion and movement, flagella associated with animal cells. And I would put it like that because cilia and flagella are for movement. Which then brings us to a few that are exclusive to plant cells. The biggest thing that plant cells that we don't have is they have a cell wall. Furthermore, the next thing is they have chloroplasts. So they, and that chloroplast contains pigments which harvest energy from the sun it's specifically called chlorophyll. So inside the chloroplast is chlorophyll. And the last one, vacuole. This one's a little tricky, and here is why. So plants, what I'm going to write is this. Plants have what is considered to be a large central vacuole. They have one, and it's enormous. It's really, really large. Whereas over here with animal cells, they do have vacuoles. But theirs are tiny. And so let's note those right there. But they have small vacuoles. And that is the Venn diagram for the organelles having to do with plants, cell walls, chloroplasts, large central vacuole, animals, which have cilia and flagella for movement, lysosomes and centrioles for division, and a small or smaller vacuoles. They have a whole bunch of them. In both DNA, nucleus, cell membrane, mitochondria, cytoskeleton, nucleolus, ER, or endoplasmic reticulum, both types, rough and smooth, cytoplasm, ribosomes, and Golgi apparatus, or body, or complex, however you want to say it. And all of that is organelles having to do with eukaryotes, meaning cells with a nucleus and organelles. All right, take care, class.